yes, the heaviest bands of snow are about to get here, so we're gonna drive to the so-called least snowiest part of town first, so when we get back towards the dam, we're gonna be going through the heavy part of the storm. The heaviest part of this storm. It looks like it's gonna hit this area in about 30 minutes, and it's really coming down good right now. Oh, this is just fantastic. We have a live feed going on too, guys, so swap over to the live feed, check it out, communicate with everybody. It's a fun place to be. Also, don't forget, go to BigBearWeatherAndMore.com to get your merchandise, all that cool stuff, and for your, for your ski rental and snowboard rental needs, go to Get Boards on Big Bear Boulevard. They will take care of you, and if you bring your own skis and snowboard, they will wax it for free. You just gotta tell them that I sent you. The owner's name is Tony, he's a really good dude. Um, they've, they've got everything. They even have some ski and snowboard clothing that you can rent. 25 bucks, you guys, for the whole setup. $25. That'll save you hundreds and hundreds of dollars to buy something you're not gonna use often in most cases. So check out Get Boards. And if you buy your lift tickets within 72 hours of going skiing on getboards.com, you'll save quite a bit of money as opposed to going to the ticket window the day of skiing. So instead of going to the ticket counter at Snow Summit or Bear Mountain or, or, or Snow Valley on the day that you're planning on going skiing, buy your lift tickets within 72 hours of, uh, of, your, of when you plan to ski at getboards.com and you will get hooked up. But guys, it's really coming down. This is awesome, 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 awesome. Temperature is 35 degrees. I don't know if I want to go all the way to Baldwin though. You know what? We're just going to go out to Paradise, swing back around, and then head out towards the Big Bear Dam on the North Shore and come back in the snowy way. Oh, this is, this is awesome, you guys. Get ready. As I said, the second half of this video should technically be the heaviest snow we've seen all season. I think I timed these snow bands just right, and it keeps changing. Every 30 minutes, it keeps changing, saying that, oh, well, it's not going to be as, as heavy now, and, and uh, maybe in, in a couple hours it'll get super heavy, but I have a good feeling about this, and we're going to catch it. Yes, guys, this is wonderful. Here's the snow play place on the right. Let's go, you guys, let's go. And hey, for your hotel needs up here, guys, I think I found my new favorite spot, not only because it was so affordable, but the owner is just amazingly cool. Um, if you tell him that I sent you, he'll probably hook you guys up because he wants to give me a discount code for all you guys when I post his video. I stayed there with my wife. It's called the Sessions Retreat and Hotel. Right near right near the village, it's, it's, it's centrally located, great spot. Um, and yeah, it's just, if I don't post his video before you come stay there, please make sure you tell him that I referred you and, and that I had said that he was going to give a discount code for you guys just so he'll take care of you. He's a good dude. He's, he's not going to play any games like that. I, I promise you. His name is Frank. He's a young guy, a couple years younger than me. Just, just a really, really cool dude. And again, it's insanely affordable. Shockingly, actually. His prices compete with Motel 6 up here, you guys during the downtime at Motel 6, not during the snow time. <clears throat> Motel 6 does raise their prices significantly during snow events and holidays. Of course, you have to expect some of that up here. We are a tourist town, guys. But Frank will definitely take care of you guys. He's the man. And then when it comes to Airbnb properties, don't forget, hit me up. We've got a property on this channel right next to Bear Mountain. 
and I'll, I'll get you in touch with the owner, Jay. And if you tell him that you're from this channel, he will hook you up with a significant discount. And as I said, it's right next to Bear Mountain um, in Middle Moon Ridge area, a place that gets an awful lot of snow. It's a beautiful, comfortable place. And right outside the master bedroom is a sick jacuzzi. <clears throat> All right, come on, light, turn green. We don't got much time here. Oh gosh, I have a feeling when we start driving back, the snow is going to be coming down. Hey, you guys, just thinking about you guys. I'm out here in Big Bear City, driving in the beautiful snow. Wish me luck again. I'm hitting the least snowy part of town first, and I'm about to turn and start heading back towards the snowiest part. I hope it turns out as good as I'm thinking. Okay. Just had to chime in on the live feed, you guys. As a matter of fact, let me show you guys what's going on with that live feed. Oops, we gotta get this. What is going on here? Hang on. Alright. Oh no. I I put it back. Put the darn thing back through there. Alright, hang on. Alright, so we are gonna turn here on Paradise. And then I'm gonna show you guys the live feed, eh? second we are turning left on paradise this is the last transition from south to north shore and there's four of them so here's the live feed at my house right now it's snowing harder than it looks in this video but right now there's there's only I think 17 people watching when I left, there was like 25 people watching, but it is really late. So I never expect there to be that many people this late, but the conversations are absolutely wonderful. I think you guys would definitely enjoy it. Let me get back to, uh, get back to it here. Get it all posted up for you guys here. dropping like flies there's nobody on the road as there shouldn't be because it's like 1 30 in the morning or something something ridiculous yep 1 30 temperature is 34 degrees i do need to check something when we get to this stop sign though just want to see if these heavy bands are still showing what they've been showing about to come through town so please keep your fingers crossed i'm not saying this would be a wasted oh yeah oh my gosh it picked up even more in about 20 minutes it's gonna or 30 minutes it's gonna get really heavy oh that's wonderful all right let's do this you guys let's do this And the further we go this way, it's gonna get heavier and heavier. Get ready, folks. I gotta turn up my my defroster so the windshield wipers don't gather a bunch of snow.
I'll bet you when we get into Fawn Skin and just past there, the roads are going to be turning white. Temperature is still 34 degrees. Watching the live feed is growing pretty good now, so obviously this is going to be uploaded quite a bit after I'm saying this, but I hope you guys do go check it out. Anytime you want during this storm, just pop on to the live feed that's current and you'll be able to see in real time exactly what's, what's happening from exactly where I'm seeing it from. That's how I make my determination whether I'm, I'm going to go out and start, start recording or not. January 21st, 2024, if I neglected to mention that. Thank you guys again for being so kind and so sweet to me and just being a part of this beautiful community we have together. These snowflakes are getting much bigger. Oh, it's so great. Driving in the snow like this, it feels like you're driving light speed. You know all those sci-fi movies where you see the spaceship go light speed and that's just what it looks like. And it, it, it's, it's sometimes disorientating me a little bit. Here's Snow Summit all the way across the lake. Beautiful snow plow. We're going to slow down a bit more because I don't want to beat this heavy part of the storm. But then again, we will drive by some of the ski resorts because the closer you get to the mountain, the heavier it's going to be anyway.
told you guys, the further we go this way as we get towards Fawnskin, you're going to start to see the ground changing color in the street. It's like right here, here we go. Yeah. But look, we're only going 37, 35 miles an hour. It looks like we're flying though. have any questions I've, I've been asked a lot of questions about people coming up in the next couple days and what you should do and shouldn't do and please feel free to ask me that's what I'm here for I devote a lot of my time to trying to keep you guys as safe as humanly possible and to provide the best ingredients and instructions for a wonderful experience Expecting you 
you to be picking up more, not staying steady and getting a little bit less. It's still coming down good, don't get me wrong. Because of the white backdrop with the roads being, being white, it's not showing as much. But it's definitely still coming down pretty darn good. play one of my friends from up here his name's Jeffrey Dean he's got amazing music I've played this song a couple times for you guys but he's, he's he's the nicest guy he found me because he watches this channel and he has a channel called the solo gigging um, life or something the solo gigging life I, I believe it is he plays in a lot of or like uh, he used to play in a lot of bands. There's already about an inch of snow over here, but he is so talented and just the coolest guy. So I think I will do that for you guys. As I said, I've played this song for you guys before, but it's a really great, great song. So let me let me find it here.
of rocks, you guys. I mean, seriously. Okay, starting to get windier, starting to come down really good now again. Towards the part of town that I suspected would be happening, so this is great. This is a good moderate to moderately heavy snow right now. I wish this would keep up for like 12 straight hours so we could get like a, at least a foot of snow but in a, in a short period of time, but you never know. It keeps on changing dramatically. And it's, I just checked it again and it's still showing the heavy bands are right here now but it moved it up. So like we're about to really drive into it now and it just keeps on changing. It went from about a good hour straight of it to maybe like 30 minutes. But this is what I do guys. This is what I love to do. This is my passion. I focus on this constantly when we have storms. I'll never let you guys down. But I sure go through a lot of gas, I'll tell you that though. Holy moly. I filled up yesterday, last night, and I already have used this much gas. I filled up uh, right after the video I did at three in the morning. It's a pretty cool view with the clock and then windshield and oh, it's, oh it's just great all right the snow is really picking up now i love driving in these conditions i love it especially when there's no one else on the road it's just wonderful so as i said when we get to the big bear dam which we will be there in just a few seconds here because it's so open right there it's probably going to be extremely windy and the snow is going to be blowing pretty good. It's blowing really, really good now, but my God, oh, it's, yeah, it's really picking up. This is where, this is the heaviest part of, or the heaviest, snowiest part of town when it comes to the Big Bear Valley. This side of the lake, right over here. And we are at the dam. she be doing driving up here right now oh, just dumping guys extra slow but I don't mind because we're just gonna slow it up so we can keep the reason I like to keep my brights on is so we can see how heavy it's snowing you can hear that right This is that accumulating snow. Look at this rock right here. They, they put like teeth in it. 
It looks like a face. That is so cool. When there's no snow, you can really tell, but it's it's pretty awesome. I think our friend Conrad calls it Jabba the, the Hut Rock. He's almost going so slow he's going backwards but again that's what you guys need to do up here especially if your car is not a car built for this type of weather especially this late guys go as slow as you need to go your safety is crucial wow just dumping guys snowing good. I don't know about quite dumping, but it's snowing really, really good. The roads are definitely feeling it. It's 33 degrees. Let's check the, check the weather radar real quick. Okay, for the next 15 minutes, this heavy stuff's gonna last. So hopefully we can get over by Snow Summit and drive through the parking lot there before this heavy band ends. I knew this was gonna happen. It, it was gonna hit real quick. But who's the man? coming we gotta turn off the brights here it's two in the morning again guys we are in the snowiest part of Big Bear and the further we go this direction the less snow you will receive. This is, as I said, the snowiest part of the entire Big Bear Valley. However, there are some neighborhoods that get more, or a neighborhood that gets more snow, which is Upper Moon Ridge, because it's, it's located adjacent to the mountain at a pretty significant higher elevation.
wow, where's everyone going? take you to uh, Aspen Glen picnic area and sledding area when there's enough snow it's a good, good place to sled for free you guys I'll show you I do have in my playlist a video the playlist itself is named, I think, Free Sledding Areas, but also at BigBearWeatherAndMore.com, there are directions to all the free spots as well. So a lot of this stuff, you can just go right to the BigBearWeatherAndMore.com website and get your, your information, information that you're seeking. And if you're always wondering about like just random things, check out the playlist because you never know, I, I might have something that suits your, your suits your searches. side, a little bit on the slick side. Okay, Aspen Glen is here to the right, in this parking lot area. I'll roll down my window and try to point at it, but you're probably not going to see much. Definitely not going to see much.
coming up to Big Red Boulevard. And we're basically gonna be let out right where the Alpine Slide is. The Alpine Slide at Magic Mountain. It's where that uh, paid sledding area and the roller coaster resides. right there that is the alpine slide at magic mountain area it'd be cool if they did the roller coaster in the middle of the night that would be just awesome four star plus hotel that's my my favorite one up here for all others it would be sessions that one right there is called um, the club at big bear village it's a blue green resorts resort <laughs> suggest you go go check check that place out usually it's a pretty darn cool crowd of people I used to go sing there all the time but I would show up when karaoke started at 5 p.m. and leave at 6 before anyone really had the chance to get hammered because I can't stand being around drunk people the only reason is because I despised myself and I was every day a blackout drunk type of a person so yeah, I just, I did not like myself at all. And therefore I have, I have, I have a real problem being around drunk people. That's pretty neat. So as you can see, the snowiest part of town had some pretty messed up roads over here. Not so bad, right? Not so shabby. We're back on Big Bear Boulevard.
can see we're just just at the very end of that heaviest part it was all the way up to heavy and we're hitting the, the very end now so we, we went through the heaviest part and we're gonna be hitting the tail end of the heaviest part and then in a few hours it's gonna be happening again so we might have to go back out if it does happen right around sunrise we'll go back out for sure on the corner turn right here and go all the way up to the top and the snow should pick up up at the top it's really weird I'm not seeing lights up up top so it's, it seems like they may have turned off their lights at summit temperatures 34 I wouldn't be surprised if we get to 33 even though it's not that much of a change in elevation it's, it's really not maybe a couple hundred feet at best from Big Bear Boulevard up here to the base, but we'll see. snow we'd be doing some donuts in this parking lot I just don't want to potentially catch any dry spots because that's not going to be good for the car I'll tell you what the 6 a.m. drive if we go out we are going to definitely do a couple donuts have, have some fun you know what I'm saying Don't you know what I'm saying Yeah, they turned off all the lights here. Kind of crazy. We are at Snow Summit. Did not expect to see the lights off. thank you for cruising along with me I love having you guys with me I love it so much and please if you feel like doing me a huge favor because I've earned it please please hit the like and and subscribe button it would be so helpful towards what I'm trying to to accomplish which is just to grow this channel and get more people around the world to see this channel I've I've become friends with people in Costa Rica, quite a few in Australia, um, a couple in New Zealand, 
been, I, I have a lot of friends in Great Britain because of the channel, in the Netherlands, all over Europe. Um, yeah, I would, I think I've got a, a couple friends in uh, Siberia. It's, it's just great how far this channel's reaching out. And with more of you hitting like and subscribe, that's just gonna help me more to be in those people's recommendations. All right, by the way, we're on a street called Evergreen. It's one of my favorite streets. They've got a few really beautiful houses on this street, and it's right across from my house. I live in a little shoebox, and some of these homes are magnifique. Just simply magnifique. Houses on this whole street. Kind of gonna come at an angle so we can point at it a little bit so you can see it. It's at the stop sign on the corner. Right there. You can't really see it, but it's a big, big, beautiful place. Oh, it feels so good with the windows down right now. Woo. I think we are going to make one more little stop because it looks like it's getting heavier over here. So we are going to hit up Bear because it's going to be right up along the mountain as well. And uh, hopefully our timing's good and we catch some really good snow over there. Hopefully the roads are looking like this over there too, guys. It should, it really should. So let's just keep our fingers crossed, huh? skiing 
today is is going to be a lot of fun. I wish I could go, but I'll I, I avoid these places like the plague on the weekends because there's just way too many people. It's not as fun. You feel like you're stuffed in a sardine can up here. And I can guarantee there's going to be a load of people here later on. sign just brings back so many memories of my childhood. I, it's just so wonderful. really thank you for watching again it's just a real honor and joy to have you guys here with me whenever I hit the record button it feels like you're all right here with me it's a really great feeling I love you guys very much um, yeah thank thanks for being here thanks for sharing in this whole YouTube experience with me and just look at how heavy it's coming down right here please hit like and subscribe again I I know I've I've said that a few times. Please do that for me. And then don't forget to support the channel also. You can go to bigbearweatherandmore.com, get some merch, or there's other ways to support the channel in the description of the video. I'm very grateful for everything you guys do for me. It is very impactful. So thank you. Again, I do feel like I deserve the subscribes because I do work really hard at this. Um, yeah, so thanks again, guys. And uh, Hope you guys can have a chance to come up here soon. And those of you who are coming up later on today, just please give yourself a few hours of extra time. Don't be in any rush whatsoever. Just put your safety as the main priority to trump everything out there. You, your safety is, is, is crucial. I love you guys so much. I, I never want to hear about anything bad happening to you guys. Because I've heard some scary stories over, over the nine years I've been doing this. So just be safe. If you have any questions, don't ever hesitate. I'm always going to be here for you guys, okay? Thank you. And uh, yeah, it's January 21st, 2024. I love you guys with all my heart and soul. And I will talk to you later. Signing off until a few hours from now. <laughs> Go to the live feed, by the way. Go to the live feed. It's going to be going the whole time uh, that this storm is here. And I'll and when I'm home and not working, I'll be there chatting with you guys the whole time. Peace out, guys. Bye.